Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the most anticipated manga releases for the month of July 2024. And as always, I like to mention that I mostly recommend brand new series with volume ones, deluxe editions, box sets, that sort of thing, instead of recommending like volume 24 or 30 something of a popular series. First one on the list is Burst Angel Volume 1, story and art by Minoru Murao. This ran from 2004 to 2005 for 16 chapters which were collected across three volumes. This is a sci-fi GL action series and yes this is the Burst Angel that you're thinking of, however this is the prequel series to that and back in 2008 it was released in three physical volumes by the folks at Tokyo Pop obviously the licensed expired and Titan Manga is now bringing it back in 2024 with a brand new collected edition of it. So like I mentioned this is a prequel to the hit anime series Burst Angel. In here you will discover how the Burst Angels first met and became the legendary crime fighters. So if you like girls with guns and shonen manga you are in luck. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have a fantasy mystery romance series. This is Reliving My Life with a Boyfriend Who Doesn't Remember Me. The series started back in 2022 and it is still ongoing. This is a manga written by Eiko Mutsuhana with art by Gin Shirakawa. In this story, Oriana, a 17-year-old magic student, suddenly dies alongside her boyfriend, Vincent. However, she returns from death in the body of her 7-year-old self with the memories of her past life intact, except for the knowledge of what killed her. She fantasizes for years about reuniting with her beloved, but when they finally meet, Vincent doesn't remember her. Can she make Vincent fall in love with her again and avoid the death that started this mysterious time loop? From Kodansha, we have a box set release. This is Hitorijime My Hero Box Set Volume 1. This popular BL Slice of Life series is written by Memeko Ari. Masahiro Setagawa doesn't believe in heroes, but he wishes he could. He's found himself trapped in a gang of small-time street bullies and with no prospects for a real future. But when high school teacher Kosuke Oshiba comes to his rescue, he finds he may start believing, after all, in heroes and his budding feelings too. Now what's cool about this boxer release is the extras. I am highly critical, sort of a bit of a hot take I guess, on manga box sets. I think the value is not there for what you're getting. I'm not a fan of getting a box set and the extra being a flimsy small poster. I would like something more substantial and I think this box set delivers. You're getting the first six volumes of Hitorijime My Hero plus a 100 page bonus a booklet which contains art galleries, short stories, and exclusive colored art. Now this box set will line up with the second one which is scheduled to come out soon as well and they will most likely look fantastic on your shelf. Dark Horse Comics surprised a lot of people by revealing one of their next deluxe edition hardcovers and it is H.P. Lovecraft's At the Mountains of Madness deluxe edition hardcover manga. This of course ran from 2016 to 2017, 25 chapters across four volumes, previously collected in softcover editions. This drama horror supernatural series is of course adapted by Go Tanabe and is presented in hardcover format featuring wraparound cover art with soft touch lamination and spot gloss, 8 pages in full color, a title page in silver ink, foil gilding on the edges of the book block, and a satin ribbon bookmark. And if that's not enough, this is genuinely one of Go Tanabe's best adaptations. I absolutely loved it. I don't even have to read the description on this one to tell you how amazing it is. I have read this before in digital format and I will Will happily get this deluxe edition for my collection. I think this is one of the better Lovecraft adaptations. The art is exquisite to say the least. From Square Enix, we are getting Just Like Mona Lisa Volume 1. This series ran from 2018 to 2022 for 53 chapters which were collected across 10 volumes. 
This is a story written by Sumuji Yoshimura, and it is reproduced in two colors throughout, instead of the standard black and white. In this world, people are born without a gender. Then, children's bodies shift towards their desired gender when they reach 12 years old. Until Hinase's 18th spring, they lived content without a gender. But bubbly girl Ritsu and thoughtful boy Shiori both confessed their feelings on the same day. Romance was never on Hinase's mind, so how can they respond? Hinase must explore their identity as they arrive at the cusp of adulthood. Who will they choose, and who will they become? Viz Media is bringing back Battle Royale. The popular series had a third sequel, or Battle Royale 3 Enforcers. This is getting released here as Battle Royale Enforcers, without the Roman numeral. The first volume comes out this month in this action suspense survival story that, of course, is part of the Battle Royale franchise. This was first published back in 2022, written by Koshun Takami, with art by Yukai Asada. 20 years ago, the fascist government of the Republic of Greater East Asia seized control of Japan. In order to terrorize the citizens and crush any possibility of rebellion, the government set up Program 68, a savage military program where Japanese high school students were sent to a remote island and forced to kill each other. The Battle Royale. After being banned for two decades, Program 68 is back, now under the direction of a sinister government, Artificial Intelligence. The troubled and misbehaving kids of Daitoa Academy's Class F have been chosen, armed and divided into squads, and must now fight each other to the death. Friendships and loyalties will be tested, and only the strongest will survive. From Seven Seas Entertainment, we have a GL series, Throw Away the Suit Together, Volume 1, Story and Art by Kei Yang. This series ran from 2021 to 2023, across 19 chapters collected across three volumes. In this series, getting into university and job hunting is what they're expected to do, because that's what everyone does. But what do they really want for themselves? When Haru and Hee-chan decide to take life into their own hands, they toss their resumes into the sea and move to an island together. They soon learn that island living isn't all blue skies and sunny days, and yet whatever the future holds, they will face it together. From Love Love and Tokyo Pop, we have the ongoing series, My Beautiful Man. This BL started back in 2021, and it is written by Yu Nagira with art by Megumi Kitano. Hira has always dreaded the first day of new classes. Ever since he was little, he's had a stutter that only worsens when he's anxious, causing Hira to always sink to the bottom of the social pyramid. This year of his high school career might not have been any different if it weren't for him. Kiyoi, the most beautiful and kingly man Hida has ever seen. Normally their lives would never intersect, but Hida suddenly gets a chance to grow closer with Kiyoi when he's made the popular group's gopher and gets his phone number. Hida treasures every order Kiyoi gives him and every bit of change he's handed to run errands. Is this what they call love? Now this next pick might be a little controversial for a lot of people, but I do want to include it in here because I think it is so different than anything else that's coming out. This is Captain Momo's Secret Base from Kenji Suruta. This is an ongoing comedic sci-fi series that first began in 2017 with sporadic chapters released throughout the years. Although we haven't gotten one, it is still an ongoing series, and I cannot stress this enough, this is a very, very not safe for work series. In the year 3019 AD, humanity has gotten even more casual. Most of the time, Momo doesn't bother to wear her captain's uniform or anything at all. On board the cargo vessel Blue Chateau, as she struggles against interstellar tedium, company directives, low battery strength, and her ever underfoot cat, John. But fear not, for equipped with plenty of reading material and a crate of peach liqueur. In the long haul past Proxima Centauri, space slacker Captain Momo will last prove Newton correct, a body at rest will remain at rest. 
So I do want to point out that in this manga, Captain Momo, I would say 98% of the story, she is naked in this starship. But the whole premise of a character experiencing the boring side of work and life while being completely isolated in space is a fun twist on slice of life and stories of similar nature. So I do recommend it. There is artistic merit here. It's it's not played in a sexualized matter. It's not gratuitous. I see it more as funny satire with a character not afraid to bear it all in space. Oh, and the cat is pretty adorable too. From Fantagraphics, which is a publisher I rarely mention on these videos, but they are putting out a manga that I'm looking forward to, Search and Destroy Volume 1. This series ran from 2018 to 2020 for 18 chapters, which were collected across three volumes, so it's not a huge commitment on your shelf. Now, what's interesting about this action sci-fi story is that it is written by Atsushi Kaneko, and it is a contemporary temporary reimagining of one of my favorite Osamu Tezuka stories, Dororo. This is a tale of rage, rage against hypocrisy, injustice, exploitation, and the wrongs done to a child who grew into a righteous killer. The violent death of one of these creatures connects an orphan thief named Doro with a mysterious girl in a stinking animal hide that conceals deadly cybernetic implants. Who is this mysterious girl? How is she killing one by one the city's most twisted and powerful creatures? Next up, we got a bunch of Yen Press releases. The first one is Aria of the Beach Forest, Volume 1. This is written by Yugiri Aika. The series is a supernatural slice of life, and it ran for 16 chapters from 2020 all the way to 2022, collected across three volumes. Again, not a huge commitment for your bookshelf. The witch, Aria, is a little shy. She's good at cooking and knitting, and she's a real whiz at growing herbs. As for what she's bad at, why that's magic. One fateful day, the sheltered girl encounters a talking wolf who becomes her very first friend. Watch witch and wolf snuggle up in this comfy story with a touch of mystery set in the forest of Ireland. Also from Yen Press, we have Excellent Property, Rejects for Residents, Volume 1. This is an ongoing supernatural comedy series which started back in 2022 with story and art by Su Minazuki. Yugo Chayama is an unemployed high school dropout renting a dirt cheap apartment in a building nicknamed the Loser Lodge. Everything is communal in this rickety 70-year-old abode, from the bathrooms to the kitchen, but at least the rent is a mere 5000 Yen. But then one day, an angel named Hamwell descends with the heavens, having been given the hopeless mission of turning Yugo's life around. And since we're on the subject of comedic supernatural stories, we have Go 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 Ghost Volume 1. I promise I will never do that again. This is a story drawn and written by Miyako Hiruzuka, and it ran from 2021 to 2023. 33 chapters collected across five volumes. After an illicit affair at work falls through, office worker Ushiro Akechi is wallowing in quiet desperation and stumbling to towards ending it all. What she really needs is an older sister to talk her back from the edge. Luckily, she's about to meet one from the other side. Self-proclaimed guardian spiritual older sister Masako is ready and waiting to take Ushiro under her ghostly wing. Can they together turn a brush with the end into the start of a gloriously funny new partnership? Also from Yen Press, we got an action fantasy reincarnation series adapting the light novel of the same name, Miss Savage Fang, Volume 1, story by Kakaku Akashi, with art by Umashi and Kayahara. This Yen Press release tells the story of Envo, known by the title Savage Fang, a renowned mercenary who should have died fighting in the Civil War. Instead, he awoke back in time, inside the body of the very tyrant who started the war in the first place. Mylene Eltania was the world's most beautiful, ruthless empress. With beautiful hair signaling her divine gift and beauty beyond compare, she was a force to be reckoned with. Now this mercenary has a second chance to fight back before it's too late. Mylene's beauty on the surface, but a savage beast rages below. 
from Viz Media, we have the return of Junji Ito with another story collection. This time it is Alley. Every night, a young man hears children playing outside of his boarding house, but the alley below his window is fenced off from the world. What secret lies within the stains on the alley's walls? Legendary horror author Junji Ito presents 10 blood-curdling short stories in this release. And finally, between Go 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 Ghost and this one, I don't know which would be the top billing for July, in my honest opinion. So I'm just going to say it's a tie. This is Nos and Zakuro, Volume 1, Story and Art by Rariatu. This comedy fantasy series has been ongoing as of May of 2023, and it is being brought to us by the folks at Seven Seas Entertainment. Shadowsville is a spooky supernatural town between this world and the next making it the perfect home to mother-daughter vampire duo Nos and Zakuro, except they really aren't that spooky. The beautiful Nos and her adopted daughter Sakuro spend their time drinking blood from juice boxes, shopping for anti-sun accessories, and hanging out with their monster buddies. A fantastic parent-child dark comedy story. So there it is, folks, my list of highly anticipated manga releases for the month of July. Are you excited for some of these releases? Let me know in the comment section. Also, what are some other books that you're looking forward to? Let me know as well down below. And last but not least, before we go, I have a Discord server. The link is in the description below if you want to join. And I decided to create a second sister channel for this one where I will be live streaming on a somewhat frequent basis talking about anime, manga, maybe playing some games. Who knows? But if you're interested, the link is in the description below as well, or you can find it on the homepage of my YouTube channel under Manga Geekdom Live. Hope to see you there. That's going to be it for now. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.